Uh, today's video I'm going to show you how you can actually sell some Canva templates on Payhip. Uh, pretty straightforward process, uh, very easy to do, uh, but there's just a little bit of a trick to it, so I'm going to go through that now. So I've got these templates here, uh, a belt chart I'm selling for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu clubs, and all the little text elements are editable. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do, I've got this one here, this other one with the black background, and this white one. I'm going to sell it as a pack, and we're going to head on over to Payhip in order to sell that product and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create these templates I've gone through I've got another video there if you want to watch that it goes into a bit more detail about these uh, templates but not a hell of a lot more detail because it's pretty straightforward all I want to do is head up to share and I'm going to where it says share a link to edit I'm going to click share link to use as template I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to pop it here into a text document I'm just going to call it red so I know which one it is and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do that for the other two templates, and then we're just going to skip ahead. Now, I've got all those saved now. These are the uh, links for each chart that I have. The other thing I also want to do is I want to download these as images just to pop into a design. So I'm going to just click JPEG, and I'm going to do the same thing again, and just go ahead and uh, download those images as well. Okay, so we saved our links, and we've downloaded images, and I've actually uploaded them uh, to Canva. But what we're going to do now is actually going to create a PDF file where that way a lot of places will not let you simply sell a link or a series of links. So we're going to create a PDF file that links off to these templates so people will technically buy the file and link off to the templates from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to create a design. I'm going to type in A4. So we can get like an A4 document. You can also choose a letter document or something, a different size, whatever you want to, a custom size. But for now, we're going to stick with A4 document. Now, before, now if you don't know how to use Canva for creating basic graphics, things like that, I have a full series I'll link to below in the description so you can go through and learn how to use Canva to do these things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply quick, quickly create a layout. We're going to speed ahead, and then I'll show you how you can link up the links to your design. And what I'm going to do now, I've uploaded the images I saved. If you're not sure how to do that, just head to Upload Media here, and you'll be able to upload the images that you've downloaded. I'm gonna start inserting these on the page and just sort of go through the process on the first one. I'm gonna pop this one here, and I'm also gonna just add in some text. It says, download link. A bit smaller though, so we're just gonna resize that. Pop it there. And it's not going to be pretty, but we're going to basically get a little bit of body text. We're going to make the text uh, like a red color. And we're going to make it pretty small, like that eight point. Now, if I zoom in, maybe a bit bigger than that, maybe about that size. And I've got my link here. Bring this over. I'm going to right click and copy the link. And then I'm going to paste it in place. And I'm just going to left align it. And what I'm also going to do is just actually add another bit of text saying click image to download or copy and paste link below. And then we're happy with that. Just going to move that and resize that. So this is just a, a basic idea of what you can do. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. But we've got our first chart up. Now this link here, I've just realized that I copied, is for the red chart. So if I go back to uploads, I can just drag the red into this image to replace it. Now what I want to do, while I've got that link in my clipboard, I'm going to actually click on the image and there's a little link symbol up here. I click on that, paste the link and hit enter. And there's now a link there. I can also highlight this text here. And I go to the three dots if you can't see it. Go to the link symbol, paste that link and press enter. And now we have our download link and I can move this to position it up so it's centered. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to highlight all of this I'm going to go to the three dots here. I'm going to duplicate. 
and then I'm gonna go through and replace this link and update these links. So once again, if you're doing the whole replication process, I'll go black, I'm gonna highlight this here, Control A, I'm going to highlight and copy the black link. So I'm gonna see Control A, delete, and paste. Then I'll highlight this all. And once again, I can go to the link symbol and I can highlight and Control A again, delete the whole thing and paste the new link in. I do the same here, link symbol, Control A, or highlight the whole thing, hit delete to clear it, add the new link in, press enter. And we repeat that process for the third chart. And now we have a document ready to export and upload to wherever we want to sell, which in this case, we're going to go to Payhip. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the download button. I'm going to choose PDF standard, and I'm going to download that PDF, and then we're going to open it up and take a look. Okay, so I've now downloaded my PDF and I've opened it up here. Now, when you first open it, you may get a little dialog box asking you whether you want to allow the link to be sort of opened or not, but I highly recommend going through and just checking each of these and making sure they work. But we'll just check this one so I can show you. If I click on the image, we get the red chart. If I click on the link, we get the red chart again. And of course, I can do the same for the black. We've got the black image and the white for the white image. So just double check your links are working because the last thing you want to do is sell something to someone and then those links don't work. So now we're actually going to go to Payhip and sign up so we can start selling this pack. Now you are going to want to go to payhip.com and sign up there, it's pretty easy. Uh, you get this get started free link at the top. Simply click on that and you'll be taken through the sign up process as per normal. Pretty easy to follow and once you've signed up, you can create your product. I've already got an existing account, so I'm gonna just skip ahead and uh, log in from there. Okay, so we're now logged in to Payhip and you can see your dashboard. You've got a few options. I recommend checking all those out, making sure you're happy with all the settings there. Um, but I'm not gonna go through that right now. Um, you can customize your store design. However, you've got to add a product before you do that. So check that out later, because you do get a store. First thing we need to do though is set up our checkout. So we go set up checkout. We're gonna go down to, you've got a Stripe. If you've got a Stripe account, you can actually connect that up. But so what we're gonna do is link up our PayPal account. You simply type in your email. Now this is actually a personal email, which is why this is uh, blurred out. But you type in your PayPal account email and continue. And then you want to confirm your account. Now simply then follow all of the steps on screen. It's pretty straightforward. Log in, uh, enter any information you need, and then when you're done, we continue back to Payhip. And now we've got that added, we can go ahead and add our product because our payment is now linked and we can actually start receiving payments. So we go back to our dashboard at the top. I'm gonna to head down to add your first product and then click add a product on the right. Now you see there's a few different types of products you can actually set up with Payhip, including uh, subscriptions. So if you want like a recurring billing for a particular service or product. But for now, we're sticking with a digital product. And once we're in, we're actually gonna go in. You can see we've got some details there, but we're gonna upload the PDF file we created earlier. And now that file's uploading or almost uploaded, we simply wait for that to finish but we can start adding in some details throughout the rest of the page. Now we do want to give our product a title and I've got one just in my template there. So A3 Brazilian Jiu Jitsu BJJ belt chart Canva templates. I'm going to give it a price, uh, eight or maybe 7.99 US dollars. And um, we're going to add in a cover image. Now I've actually gone into Canva and created another image just with the three belt charts in a row. Uh, won't go through that process right now, but we're just going to quickly upload that so you can uh, see how that's going to look. But I simply went to create a design and a custom size and created one that was 1200 pixels by 600 pixels and then just imported the three images onto it. Now that image is stretched here, but on the final page, it will actually show up in the proportion uh, that we wanted it to. But now we want to add a description and I've got a description off to the side, which I'm just going to quickly copy and paste in there. I'm going to also re-upload the cover image in there uh, just so people can see exactly what it is that they're getting. And then just copy the remainder of the information in underneath. 
Now to cover what I've put in there just to help out, I've put a little bit of a spiel in there just talking about what this is. So a belt chart to help educate students on how the belts work in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I put what's included, so when you buy, you know exactly what you're getting, which is a PDF that links to the Canva templates that you can see below. And I've also put in there a little bit of information about how it works, some basic information on how you can actually get it into your Canva account, uh, including clicking a link, uh, as opposed to just simply click the template, and adding in little changes uh, and how you can make those changes. I also recommend maybe doing an instructional video if you have the capacity. So you can add a video in to your cover image, but also you can just simply add a link to a video at the end of your description pretty easily. So if I just type in video, I can highlight that and add a link and just link off to a YouTube video in that URL section. So pretty straightforward and pretty easy. So we've done with our description, we're pretty happy with it and we're almost ready to go. Now you see we've got some visibility options. We can make this visible or even unlisted so you can have a link that you can share with people that you, but isn't actually advertised on your store. But for now we're gonna stick with visible because we want our product to be visible. And also there are a few advanced options. Just check these out, like the product isn't tax exempt. It's not an ebook. You can also, if you're selling an ebook, upload a few pages as a teaser or even limit the amount of times you can sell the product. So if you turn that on, you can have, you know, 10,000 or 100 products. You can also sign people up to a mailing list if they buy or even add license keys to, uh, you know, help protect your software that way. But we're pretty happy with having those turned off. We're pretty happy with the rest of the listing. So we're gonna go and add this product and have a look. So now we've created our product, we've got a link, and we can also uh, you know, share on Facebook or Twitter. But we're gonna check out our product page to see how it looks. Now you can see our featured image here on the left and our description on the right, which shows pretty much everything, uh, all the information we had. If you click buy now, and you can see you can pay by PayPal or even debit or credit card and people get access to the PDF with the links to those templates. So that's essentially how it works. That's our sales page. We're all good to go. Um, pretty easy. Now PayPal is, uh, sorry, PayHip is free. You can sign up. They do charge a small fee on the transactions that you make, but there's no monthly fees. Otherwise, you, just, you basically lose a very tiny percentage of your sale, which is to be expected. But uh, it's a great way if you don't have a website or an e-commerce setup and you're running on social media, you can actually just use this method to list things for sale without paying anything up front and uh, get started online that way. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And if you have any questions or thoughts about it, please uh, drop a comment below. Otherwise, if you want more information on Canva, check out the description below, check out our channel, subscribe for more. Otherwise, hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you again soon.